Hello everyone and welcome back to Space Engineers and as you can see behind me I have finished completely the ice mining rig I've uh, I've put uh, okay um, I've put drills all the way along right and I've made it come out free I was gonna do five so like another two on each side but I ran out of resources and I couldn't be asked to go back so um, yeah this thing with one uh, one little session of going down and coming back up it fills up an entire large cargo container oh my god that was these asteroids are getting too close I don't like it um, but yeah, it will fill up an entire uh, cargo container. I'll show you how much ice I got in there. It's absolutely insane how much ice I've got. I've got the uh, hydrogen generator going to charge the batteries up. Um, but yeah, this one cargo container contains 593,000 ice. And 159,000 iron, and that's for each thing, man. That's for each uh, cargo container, which is crazy, crazy good. Um, so <laughs> I've got lots of ice now, and I want to get it back to the base. So, in today's episode, I did say last episode, just get rid of that one little random block. What was. Why is it bouncing? Okay, this thing's quite unstable for some reason. <laughs> um, it's like bouncing it as, as I took that block away. Why is it doing that? Why? Why doesn't it just work? Um, but yeah, this episode, I'll try again, this episode I'm going to be building a massive uh, cargo ship and basically it's going to have four large cargo containers, so it's matching the same amount of cargo space this ice mining rig has. Ooh. Um, so yeah, and uh, it's going to be a big ship. A large ship, or whatever. So I really need to give it lot, like some power, lots and lots of power, as in for um, thrust and stuff. So uh, yeah, let's try and do that. Okay, so I am back at the base. I just flew over here real quick. Um, I've left my large rover over there because. It's going to be completely, um, what's that word? Completely useless after I build this thing. So, production. Large blocks, right. Um, okay. I'll tell you what, we'll build the, we'll build the bare bones like we did, uh, in the last, uh, last time when we was designing the, uh, the ice rig thing. So let's get, let's do that. Alright, and we can use the top of up here to make it. I need to move this guy real quick. Oh shit. Is that okay? <laughs> I always forget to turn the um, the thrusters on. Let's just land this guy just like here, out of the way. All right. Ah. Alrighty. So this thing's going to be quite big. So I'm going to place the landing gear 
sort of close to the edge, kind of. <laughs> what a sentence. So, let's spin this around. Alright, there we go. Easy peasy. Lamana squeezy. Right. So... I want it straight up with a large cargo... Oh, of course. Of course I need large... Not large. Um, interior plates. Do I have any spare parts for that? Yes, I do. Might as well put a couple of them back. So, yeah. Right, right, right. Right, let's put this guy on here. Now we need four of these, so there's one, two, three, four. Look how big it is already. That's just the cargo space. Right, now let's get number four and connect them up so they're sort of like a bit more securely on. Just like that. And at the back as well. Might as well do the front. So there we go, there's the cargo space. And we've got a nice little frame uh, around it. Now, <laughs> we need a spot for batteries. Which should be quite easy because they're literally the shape of a, uh, a square. So we can get our batteries. That's um, the cockpit's going to be like at the front there, like that. So we can put a battery here. battery here actually wait no I'm gonna place the batteries last actually let's do that last let's get the cockpit on the front just for like a uh, reference sort of thing let's cockpit pop on the front like that it's not gonna be a pretty ship but it's gonna be pretty uh, powerful and <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Right. Let's, uh, let's get these bad boy thrusters up here on the front here. Right, so these are our reversed thrusters. Is that in the right? Is that in the same place? Yeah. Okay, and then we want our front thrusters. Well, ones that are going to push us forward. Here, here, here and here. Nice decent amount of power. And then if I scroll, there we go, we've got the large one. I want this to be our downwards thrust. Alright. So if I pop that guy there, like that, and then get the other one on the other side. I think, I think that's lined up right. Let's have a look. Yeah, it looks good. Is it the same height? Yeah. Right, and then let's get some blocks around this. So it looks like it's attached. And then also we can get our side thrusters on as well. Just like that. Easy peasy. Uh, oh, yeah, side thrusters. Oops. 
Boom, there we go, we've got all our thrusters, we've got forward, back, side, side, um, fuel low. Oop. Let's get some fuel before I die. Fuel critical. It's alright, it's alright. There we go. Oop. I actually want to get maybe like okay so I'm gonna basically mirror the back so it's got a decent amount of stopping power before I like plow into something so I'll have one there like that and then one there like that and then on the underside like that and like that easy peasy nice right this is gonna take a lot of parts right but look at this, it looks like a pretty cool looking ship, I think. Right, and of course, of course, we are going to want to put some solar panels on this on this thing for power, obviously, um, and some batteries. So, just sort of thinking of where to put these batteries. I'll tell you what, let's, um, we could stick the batteries on here that way like that there you go nice and then sort of do that and then that way you've got sort of like a spine on the ship now like that nice and then because they're there, I can put the solar panels on the side. Oh. Like that. have like four on there or five can't count oh no I've done that the wrong way it's got to be symmetrical There we go, look at that, that looks pretty cool. Like, I don't know, if, if you don't play Space Engineers, then you can't really see, like, the future of what this thing is going to look like. So it's going to be quite hard for you guys. But for me, I can just sort of see what it's going to look like and stuff. Which is going to be uh, pretty sexy. Um, now let's get a connector. There we go. Nice little cheeky uh, connector right there in the middle. And then what I'll do is in the future I'll put the uh, the landing gear so it's the same height, well the same level as the connector. So it's not like this, otherwise I won't be able to connect up properly and stuff. And I'll also have to build like a a whole other like connector thing for this ship. So look at it, it's massive. It's beautiful though. I love it. Um, yeah, cool, 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 cool. So, I'm going to weld this up. It's going to probably take a long old time. But I'm going to weld it up. And um, I'll see you when I do. Okay? Hello everyone and welcome back back um oh, you finally finally welded up everything that took 
Let's see, I think that took about two hours to do. To weld all of this up and then I built a new landing pad for it. I've turned the landing gear off because for some reason they connect to the ground way before they even touch the ground. Which is really annoying, so I just turned them off to make it connect there. Um, that's what it looks like. Uh, I haven't welded this bit because I couldn't be asked. <laughs> um, it just took so long. I even ran out of resources at one point, so I had to do a couple trips with me miner ship mining ship. Um, yeah, this thing is massive. Um, I haven't really tested it out properly yet. I think we'll be able to make it over to uh, the ice miner and collect all of that st that stuff that we got. Um, the only problem is, is that I think uh, I'm not going to have enough storage. So the, basically this ship will be used as a storage as well, if that makes sense. But let's, uh, let's try our best to fly over to our ice miner. I'm going to save it just in case. Just in case. Right, uh, thrust is on. Unlock and away we go. Alright, flies pretty well, power's pretty good. See how fast it stops. Okay, it takes a little while to stop. I should have put some up thrusters just in case. I did have a camera on it to like so I could see when I I'm gonna get rid of one of the gyroscopes in a minute because it's like really annoying lined up and we are locked in okay everything seems okay and so now I can transfer all of this Okay, so I've transferred everything over. It took a little while, it's quite annoying actually. Um, but everything is transferred over. Now, this is the moment of truth. Where we see if. Oh, look at that! It can fly with ease, and look, we've got all of this on us. Our inventory isn't actually fully full. Probably because I left the hydrogen engine running on the. Uh, on the uh, ice mining rig thing but we've got everything from there and it flies with ease man this thing could hold even more weight absolute ease whoa 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 Went a little bit too fast there <laughs> okay, let's not get too cocky. Okay. There we go, we're connected. And we've got all that juicy stuff.
Look at that. That's got a hundred. That won't even fit in the in the refinery. You know what I mean? Like I've got so much stuff. I need to maybe build like a another refinery or something just so I can get it all done. You know, because I've got so much iron from that place and ice. Damn. Right. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this is getting efficient now. This is getting efficient. So, I think next episode, I will upgrade the base a little bit. Add a massive storage area. Maybe make the base come out even more this way and that way and have like I don't know like another load of refineries so I can just like um, get all of that iron like refined and stuff because I've only got this refinery and that basic refinery so yeah I definitely need to make more production on that but, um, as you've seen there, we've got this big ship. Next time when you come back, I will colour it yellow and red or something. I don't know. Yellow and red's like my colours at the minute. I don't know why. Uh, we still should go back to space at some point. So, I guess when you come back, I will have upgraded the base. And we can work on this ship. The spaceship. A little bit better upgrade it maybe change it a little bit now that we've been like went up there a couple episodes ago we can do that and this and the ice rig thing are like the best the absolute best they're so efficient at doing their job like yeah okay <laughs> um but oh, really far away but I think that'll be the end of the episode I hope you enjoyed. Um, I don't know if you guys are really enjoying this or not, but um, I'm really enjoying playing this. It's really cool. Um, let me know if you want to see like the building process. I know I I show you like literally me building it, but I don't show you me welding it. That's it's like a difference. Me building it takes like, I don't know, like five minutes, N like not a lot of time. And then me welding it takes like hours of me just going back and forth and back and forth getting resources and stuff. Uh, but, you know, let me know if you like this kind of thing. But, hey, it's the end of the episode. Please subscribe, like this video, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you later.